Hello again and welcome back to the channel. New release today, Allen and Ginter baseball cards. I'm going to be opening up this blaster box in a moment. But first, quick reminder that I run giveaways that are exclusive to my subscribers. So if you are not subbed to the channel yet, please consider doing so. If you are already subbed, I really do appreciate the support. And I hope you're doing well out there. So let's get right into it. Allen and Ginter blaster box. Here are your odds per pack and your no purchase necessary information. In case you're wondering, because the writing is super small, the odds of pulling anything amazing are crazy long, like thousands of packs um, you could open and not pull anything crazy. Or you could open one pack and pull something amazing. So, Allen and Ginter, inspired by old tobacco cards, baseball players, celebrities, insert sets, featuring skyscrapers and animals. It is a wacky old set. This particular blaster box retails for $19.99 plus tax in California. The total including tax came to about $21.50. There are seven packs plus one extra pack per box, six cards per pack, total of 48 cards. Um, I do like the design and the concept of Alan and Ginter. I do wish that the packs and the boxes were a little bit cheaper because the flagship rookie cards do not hold the same value as uh, flagship and uh, chrome do, and yet the boxes cost just the same amount of money. Of course, no one at Topps headquarters is paying attention to what I think, and so I imagine the cost will stay the same. But, you know, much like Archives and Fire, Stadium Club, and all the other sets, that are not uh, Bowman, Flagship, or Chrome. I kind of open a little bit and then kind of back off because I don't want to go crazy. That being said, a reminder that you're always just one pack away from greatness, and I'm opening the packs anyway, so let's pull some fire. Here we go. Wish me luck. It would be great to pull some crazy autograph card. Um, that would be fantastic. A Luis Robert autograph would be amazing. It looks like there's, maybe there's something. Ooh. Anyway, so first off, we got rookie card of Nico Horner. Great way to start things off. Brendan McKay, by the way, love the design. Here is the back of the card in case this is your first look. Brendan McKay got a Jay Buhner and a mini of... Ronald Acuna Jr. That is a cool mini to get. And here we go. Skyscraper insert set. John Hancock Center and Yohan Moncada. So there we go. We got a little bit of everything in that first pack. Um, wacky craziness. Not, not going to say that I'm a fan of the uh, Skyscraper insert set at all. But maybe there are people out there collecting Skyscraper cards. Rookie card of Abraham... Toro, Reynolds, got uh, Austin Meadows that was upside down. Not quite sure why it was upside down. Um, then uh, we have a Giraffe Weevil Mini bugging out. And to follow it up, we have a Tanzanite Digging Deep card. Man, talk about some wackiness. Shohei Otani, man, if you just like randomness, then Allen and Ginter is your set. It is fun and wacky to flip through. Um, I don't know that I want to pay hobby box prices for these uh, these cards, but that's why here I am opening a little bit of retail. Victor Robles, Eric Hosmer, got a Moises Alou going back there. Got a mini of Behemoths Beneath Lion's Mane Jellyfish. So there. Take that. Um, down on the farm chicken card. Who knew the chickens would get their own card one day? The time has come for the chickens to roost. And a Miggy Cabrera. Man, there's so many jokes that you can tell about this set. But you know what? Let's see who's laughing last. If I get an amazing autograph... Um, it'll all be worth it. We got a Ryu. Vogelback. Be the first 
to crack the code and win special Alan and Ginter Code Breaker autograph card. I've never seen this one before. So, okay. That is a promotional card. Okay, that's that's awesome. Um, a sewer drain where monsters live many. Wow. Okay. Field Generals, Buster Posey, and an Eddie Matthews. I'd say half of almost every pack is just random stuff that I'm flipping through, and I can't believe that there's a, a trading card for it. So this is going to be a little bit longer than a typical video, just because I'm kind of sitting here aghast at some of these cards. Albert Pujols, Hunter Pence, Catfish Hunter, got a mini of J.K. Jobbins, football player, put that up there. Then they have the long ball lore of Mark McGuire, that's a cool little design. Not sure if it's rare or anything. Um, and a Roger Maris. So, I don't know about you. Oh, let me know what you think of Alan and Ginter. Are you going to go out and buy a hobby box? Are you going to buy a retailer? Are you going to stay away from this product? Um, I'll be interested to hear your opinions, especially about this particular product. Very Zito. Mustakas. Another upside down, not sure why it's upside down. Harmon Killerbrew. It's not numbered or anything, so I'm not quite sure. Got a Kikuchi Mini. A debut to remember rookie card of Brendan McKay. And a Warren Spawn. Okay, so Nico Horner so far. Best rookie card of the break. Still searching for that Luis Robert. Still searching for my first ever Luis Robert autograph. Looks like... There's colored here, so it's probably going to be another skyscraper. Brooks Robinson. Let me not scroll too fast, otherwise we'll get to that skyscraper a little too soon. Tino Martinez. Let's just do the slow reveal of the skyscraper. No, uh, Burt Blylevin. We have a mini of Yuan Moncada. Got Taipei 101. And a Dave Winfield. So we are down to some last pack magic. As always, it's been great having you here today. Hope you've had a good time. And let's pull some fire right here and now. Final pack. Austin Riley. R.L. Stein. Author. We've got a... Gregorius. And then we got another Nico Horner. This time a mini. Looks like it might be a variation because it's got some stuff. So this is a Nico Horner box. Man, if you were a Cubs fan, this would have been fantastic for you. And then a Ruby insert digging deep, because why not? And a Correa. So, for you Cubs fans out there, two different separate Nico Horner cards. I got a Acuna Jr. Mini, J.K. Dobbins Mini, and then a Mark McGuire Long Ball Lore. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Have a fantastic day.